Hello guys. In this video, I will show you how to deploy Jenkins on top of a Kubernetes cluster. Running Jenkins on a Kubernetes cluster is beneficial for Kubernetes-based deployments and dynamic container-based scalable Jenkins agents. I hope this video will be useful and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm using Visual Studio Code to remotely connect to the master node where I'm storing the Kubernetes manifest files. To do similar with me, you have to install an extension pack named Remote Development. After install success, you can connect to your master node. These are the YAML files, it is the manifest to deploy Jenkins resources on Kubernetes cluster. You can download all files in the video descriptions. Please note that I'm using the network file system for persistent volumes. If you also use NFS, please update your configuration. If you do not use NFS, please update storage.yaml following your volume type. First step, I'm creating a new namespace called Jenkins to manage all resources belonging to Jenkins. Then cd to the folder contains yaml files then use command kuba control apply to create resources. After the deployment is successful, go to Jenkins and start installing. We have to access the Jenkins pod to get the initial admin password. Find the Jenkins pod name and run following command. OK, now let install some default plugin. Next, we will create admin user. After login, we go to Manage Jenkins, then select Setup Cloud. We start to install the Kubernetes plugin. We should select Option, Install without Restart. Be patient and wait until everything is successful. Now, go to Manage Jenkins, then select Setup Cloud. Input your cloud name and click Create. Then input the Kubernetes URL, it's the Kubernetes control plane endpoint, normally, it is the master node. Using command IPA to find the local IP of master node. You should replace your local domain name with the local IP of the master node. If everything is correct, hitting the test connection will succeed.
The Jenkins URL is the internal endpoint of Jenkins service. Normally, it will have following format. HTTP colon slash slash service name dot namespace colon service port. Now, we create a pod template, it will be used as a Jenkins agent and run as a Kubernetes pod. Let's put a name, for example, Notages agent. Labels is Notages agent 2. OK, now define the containers. Name value must be JNLP. For the Docker image, you can use your own image, but it has to be based on Jenkins inbound agents. You can find some examples on GitHub. Let's create a sample pipeline and using the Node.js agent. Click build now to trigger the pipeline and see what happened. You can see that in Jenkins namespace a new pod is created. It will be used to execute the Jenkins job. Let's check the console output of the build. It's work and that's all. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.